Good afternoon, Angela. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you about the Arctic Wolf 295 QSL. Uh, we are very excited to have the Arctic Wolf brand here and the Alpha Wolves as well. For the price point, they really offer a uh, superior build quality and also a ton of features that you don't find on other units in this price range. So I'll be going through this to tell you more about it. It does have LED lights in the front cap to help you hook and unhook in all lighting conditions. I know that we will be delivering to you, but if you ever do decide to replace your truck, uh, this turning point fifth wheel hitch is adjustable. Uh, it does not require a slider like most other um, fifth wheel hitches do. So if you have a short bed truck, uh, it's adjustable. So it'll save you a little bit of money on installation on the fifth wheel hitch if you ever need it. This is uh, a really impressive feature. It does have auto level. All you have to do is press one button, sit back and watch. It will do all the work for you. Saves you lots of time and frustration setting up your RV. This is access to the front here where I have the battery pack hooked up so I can have all the lights on for you. This unit is prepped for solar panels as well. So if you want to go dry camping, it'll keep your battery charged. It'll keep your lights on. Um, we do have these suitcase types of uh, solar panels available. This unit does feature two large propane tanks, uh, one on each side. It does have auto switch over. So if you ever run out of propane in the middle of cooking, um, it will switch over automatically without any intervention on your behalf. In this storage here, uh, pass-through storage, ton of space there, goes all the way through. And as you can see uh, from the top, this is all aluminum construction. So all of the doors, all the storage compartments, all the windows are framed out with aluminum. It's not just perimeter framing like some other products that are out there. So it's very strong and light. It does also have an inverter here. Uh, this inverter will run your fridge on seven way power. So it will save you on propane throughout the life of your RV instead of having to refill so often if you use propane uh, for the fridge. And speaking of fridges, it does have a 1.8 cubic foot refrigerator out here. So, you know, never enough uh, storage in RVs, right? So this will definitely help uh, for any beverages, beverages you wanna keep out here, anything else like that. And the Arctic Wolves, in addition to being all aluminum construction, um, they do come with an extreme weather package. So this is um, really one of the few products out there that can be considered to be a uh, four season RV. It's very well insulated, will hold up uh, very well in all climates. The door handle on this one is an extra large door handle. It's not just a tiny piece of plastic right here like some RVs have. So people of all ages can easily get in and out of your RV. In addition to that, it does have the uh, foldable step above steps that people are really liking. Uh, not only are they lightweight and you can fold them into the door, they're more resistant to rust because they are aluminum. And also it has a very low entry point here. Uh, so people of all ages can easily get in and out. It does feature a friction hinge door. So the good thing about this is that it doesn't have a plastic piece here or here that always tends to become uh, brittle over time and break off, nor does it have a pneumatic storm door type deal here. So if you're in high wind uh, and your door closes, it's just gonna easily close here. It's not gonna slam and damage your RV. It also has a screen door here with a patented door opening system. So if you wanna get good cross ventilation going, uh, this will open up the door so that you don't let any bugs in. And while you're outside, it does feature a very large awning that is, of course, electric. It has a blue LED light. So if you want to sit out here um, and enjoy at night, the blue light uh, makes it very nice. It does also have marine grade speakers outside. Uh, so this will connect to the radio that's inside. They do also feature blue LED lights to match the awning. And it also includes grounded cable, or excuse me, grounded power, uh, TV and satellite hookups. So if you want to hook up a TV out here, you can enjoy in the great outdoors. And it does have a cargo rack that's rated for 250 pounds. If you want to put an ice chest or a generator there, it will hold it. And this unit also features a grill that will hook up here uh, if you like to cook outside. Great thing about this unit, it does include a ladder standard, so it makes it easier to inspect your roof as you should. Uh, you don't need to grab a ladder from anywhere else. It's already included on the back. It is also prepped for a backup camera as well, so if you want to add one for safety, uh, if you ever decide to tow it down the road, it will definitely help out. And the uh, spare tire is also going to be located on the back as well. This unit does have two AC, so it is a 50 amp service. This is a main power supply. It does have an outside shower with hot and cold water, so if you want to uh, wash your feet up before you go in, this will keep your coach clean. Also, this is the range hood. Uh, ours actually works. Some of them are just there for looks. 
This one will vent any fumes from the inside of your RV while you're cooking outside. This is the six gallon gas and electric water heater. Uh, so you can have hot water no matter where you are, as long as you have main power or propane. And here we have the furnace exhaust for the propane furnace. Uh, you have inlets for cable and satellite here. So it's already prepped. Uh, if you go to a spot where you have either satellite or cable hookup, it's very easy. And it does have a black tank flush. So whenever it comes time to clean the black tank, all you have to do is hook up a water hose, open up your black tank and let the nozzles do the work for you. You don't have to get your hands dirty, uh, like with some other units that require um, using a wand or sticking ice in the tank. Uh, this makes it nice and easy. You have fresh water here, so if you ever want to go dry camping, you can fill up the tank and take potable water with you no matter where you go. If you're hooked up somewhere with continuous water supply, uh, just hook up city water and it'll keep a constant supply of water going to your RV. So now we can move inside. All right, so here we are. Let me give you a 360 view here. Okay, so starting out in the kitchen, um, definitely has plenty of storage here. Very tall cabinet, LED lights everywhere, tons of counter space. So great thing about this unit, it does have USB chargers and regular chargers here. So you can charge any kind of device that you need. Uh, it does have a residential style faucet. Uh, this makes it easier to wash dishes or vegetables, whatever you have. Also, the sink is a one piece uh, stainless steel undermount sink. So the great thing about this is that it doesn't have a lip like some other uh, brands have. So if you have anything here, you can just wipe it off straight into the sink. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to clean over that lip, makes it nice and easy. And the stainless steel sink uh, will not stain. It's more resistant to bacteria, it's easier to clean. And of course on the um, Arctic Wolves, what I really like is all the LED lighting that's everywhere. If you turn off the uh, regular uh, white, white LED lights, the blue lights give it a really nice ambiance in here um, at night. And the microwave is a thousand watt uh, residential power, so it will take less time to heat up food versus others that are out there. The range hood, as I mentioned outside, is functional and it will vent any fumes outside. Um, the great thing about this stove and oven is that, you know, RVs have really come so far in the time that they have been around. But, you know, more recently uh, on the ovens, or the stoves rather, um, only the, the top had igniters. So now with this new Furion, even the oven has an igniter to make it even easier to cook. Um, so I'm really glad the RV industry caught on to that. Um, in addition to having igniters on both sides, this is the more efficient three burner cooktop instead of the four. It doesn't require any specialty pots and pans or anything. Uh, you can use any style. The rear two are for simmering and the front one is for boiling. In addition to that, to give you extra counter space, it does have this glass insert here uh, to make it easier to get food ready. Also, LED lights just everywhere, even on the oven. Uh, this matches the rest of the lights that are on the unit. This is the electric refrigerator that I was talking about. Uh, it's an LG brand, well-respected brand. Uh, great size refrigerator and freezer. So for a long-term stay, plenty of room there. And moving on to the rear, uh, tons of windows everywhere to let ambient light in. And then if you want to uh, black out your unit, really great thing about this one, it comes with the easy to open and close uh, shades here that you would find on a higher end unit. So it's easier to set up uh, open and close versus the uh, accordion style ones. And then you do also have uh, two nightstands here. Uh, don't mind my equipment. I have this hooked up to the USB power in order to get the audio. So that just goes to show you that you can power many different devices in your RV uh, with that power setup. And then the couch is a trifold couch. Uh, it does, it's not just a jackknife. You can easily uh, sleep two adults on here if you ever have to, and they'll be very comfortable instead of just on a jackknife. Uh, this is the uh, second AC here. And the great thing is, you know, if you're sitting underneath this couch, um, you're definitely gonna cool down very quickly and it does have a quick dump feature. If you open this up, it will um, dump air directly down. If you close it, it circulates air throughout the ducted AC. 
Also, a really great thing about this coach is that it does have a ceiling fan like you would find on a really high-end fifth wheel, so that also helps in the hot Texas heat to circulate the air. Here you have a uh, freestanding dinette with four chairs, uh, plenty of room for everybody to enjoy dinner or breakfast or lunch. This is where your TV will mount. Uh, this unit does include a 40-inch TV, so that will go right there. The radio is an all-in-one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth. It also has auxiliary input, um, headphone output, and USB, so you can play nearly anything through it. Uh, although we may not need it very often, if you do get cold, it does feature a all-electric uh, fireplace. So if the uh, included propane furnace isn't enough, you can turn this on, or if you just want to add some ambiance, it does have a light show function as well. Really great thing about this unit, um, it's a little bit different, but the pantry is located behind the TV. So this really gives you a ton of space here. Oops, let me turn the lights on for you. Here we go, it gives you a ton of space in here for storing whatever you need, really wide shelves. Now, I know that um, your son was staying with you, so the great thing about this unit is that it's so flexible. So this is the, um, the bunk room or uh, office area, you know, whatever you want to call it, but it's just so flexible because you have this single bunk that will fold right out of the way. So if you want to sit on the couch, uh, you know, play games, watch TV, whatever you want, um, this couch is pretty comfortable and it does fold into a bed as well. Uh, great thing about this couch is that it does have cup holders with LED lights and USB chargers so you can constantly keep your devices charged. It does have three storages too. So for long-term stay, um, they definitely offer you plenty of storage in addition to everything else that it has. And over here, this is where the TV will mount. That will probably fit a 32-inch TV. And um, cable outlet here, USB connections, main power connections. You can fit a DVD player there or an Xbox, whatever kind of gaming system. And you do have a ton of storage in here as well. And in here. And then moving further up, uh, this is the main control panel where you control the lights, the slides. Um, monitor your tanks, everything like that. This is one of the AC controls. Uh, this is the switch for the inverter. Great thing about this unit, I'm really glad that they include this. Uh, you can control the entire unit from this tablet or you can link this tablet to your phone and also control it. Uh, the, uh, let me go through the functionality here. Save your control panel, um, leveling system. So you control the level from here. Let's see if I go back. Panel, my RV. Yeah, but it's just really neat um, how intertwined RVs are becoming with technology just to make it easier and easier uh, in setting up your RV and everything like that. You have a little coat closet here. Moving up, this is the loft that's above the bed. So, you know, you can sleep extra people here if you need to or just use that for storage. Moving on to the main bedroom. Really neat thing about this unit, uh, you know, it doesn't have like a Murphy bed or anything like that. Uh, this bed works on a motor that's controlled uh, from this right here. So during the day, if you wanna, you know, just hang out and watch TV, uh, you can have the bed in a couch position and watch the TV here. And then whenever you're ready to go to bed at night, uh, just move this switch and it will fold right out. So it's very flexible. You also have reading lights with dual colors. Uh, right now it's on blue, but you can change it to like a regular reading light. And of course, the uh, other AC is located right here, so it'll keep you plenty cool. And you do have uh, two ducts right here, so it will give you plenty of airflow. Um, this is the bathroom. Great thing about it, you have a door from both sides to the bathroom. And then not only that, it is a neo-angle shower versus the tub. So I'm finding that a lot of people definitely prefer this uh, over the regular tub style, especially if you have older children. And then also on the toilet even, this is porcelain. So, you know, that's pretty reserved for uh, really high-end units. So uh, it's really nice that in this price point they are offering that. Really great thing as well is that the wardrobe is on a slide. So this gives you plenty of space uh, without taking up any legroom. And you do have uh, USB chargers and regular chargers on both sides as well. Okay. Well, all right, Angela. Again, this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV and Sealy. I know I'm in HD and I'm just sweating right now. I apologize, it's super hot today. So anyway, I wanted to make this video for you. Please feel free to give me a call with any questions, 979-253-2611. Thank you so much for watching.